My name is Gary Monroe. I'm the Vice President of Operations for Ocean Park Trucking. Mr. Monroe, are you familiar with the Department of Transportation's Hours of Service regulations? Of course, it's my job to be. And how often would you say you encourage your drivers or coerce them to break those regulations? Never. At Ocean Park Trucking, we value the safety of our drivers above all else. Even if that means you can't deliver on time for a client? Ms. Bingham, you're not listening. We wouldn't even accept the job in the first place if it meant we had to violate DOT regs. Really? Yes, really. Are we done? Uh, Council? Look, we know what's going on here. This is a big waste of everybody's time. Is it now? Mr. Monroe, do you recognize the woman who just entered the courtroom? Did you need some water, Mr. Monroe? Excuse me. Yes. Are you Mr. Monroe? Yes, I am. I own a small produce company, and we have what I'd call a shipping emergency. How can I help you, Ms. Barrett? I have 1,500 South American cantaloupes sitting on a dock in San Pedro that need to be in Chicago by 6 p.m. tomorrow night, or I lose my biggest client. 6 p.m., 2,000 miles. It's cutting a little bit close. Please, Mr. Monroe, I'm desperate. Can you help me get my melons to Chicago? And do you recognize the president of Ocean Park Trucking in this room? Yeah, that's Mr. Hall right there. And sitting next to him? That's Gary Monroe, VP of Operations. Mr. Sagansky, is it true that on at least six different occasions, Mr. Monroe threatened to fire you if you refused to drive an illegal double shift? No. And isn't it true that... Excuse me? I said no. No, he didn't threaten to fire you on six different occasions? No, he didn't. No one at that company ever asked me to drive a double shift. Do you maybe want to take a moment and try answering that question again? Objection asked and answered twice. Yeah, I can count, Counselor. Sustained. But, Your Honor, he's... Permission to treat Mr. Sagansky as a hostile witness. Proceed. Ten months ago, you sat in this room and testified that executives at Ocean Park Trucking told you to break regulations and coerced you into driving illegal double shifts. Were you lying then, or are you lying now? Ten months ago, I was a mess because my friend Carl had been killed, and I was looking for someone to blame. 